Hello Commanders and welcome in the last part of the Chinese Empire series. Our beautiful campaign is coming to an end today as we are going to witness the destiny of China. China, who started as a nation, after all, after the expansion we created a kingdom and now an empire. An empire from all the continents, an empire that goes all the way from Japan to Algeria. A great empire that rules over the world, that is the first one in today's map and it is ruling all over other nations. Of course, we have to mention that Poland has tried to attack us, Poland has tried to um, resist and attack with his ally, he attempted some uh, airstrikes to um, defend his coast, he attempted his naval operations to defend his coast, but the Chinese overpower was overwhelming actually, because I am surrounding him from all sides, coming from the, uh, the south, from the Balkans, and our navies, they are marching from the north, yet here, it's going to be enough to finish Algeria to win the game with China in solo. Of course, we only now need around 300 points to win it in solo, so the Balkans alone is rich of points, victory points, is rich of resources and lands, and I think, I genuinely think, that it's going to be enough to win it in solo without any surprises, without any uh, uh, risks, without anything. Because, actually guys, I'd like to win it in solo. After all of this, campaign after all these efforts the activity i spent look in front of you the empire we created i do not want it to be stolen from me at the final stages i do not want anyone to attempt a suicide mission and go to my capital and everything turns to rogue state that is unfortunate events that happened to me in the past a lot of times it happened in the past where i get uh, my uh, i get off guard i get clumsy at the end of the game i do not stay active as before and i am starting to believe that yeah i won the game i do not have to be active all the day and later on i wake up to find my capital taken and you know when you have a great empire such as this and you lose your capital you are doomed you are destroyed rest in peace because all of your conquered lands, they are going to turn rogue. Of course, with the lack of morale like that, it's going to be almost impossible to control and retrieve all of those lands. So in today's uh, episode, we are going to put this game once and for all under the faith and under the destiny of a Chinese empire of a solo win with China. I also want to add another solo win to my statistics. I want another solo win that that presents a story, a story of commitment, a story of strategies, a beautiful series with you guys. It has been a journey from episode one. We all witnessed the great uh, battles, the first battles uh, against uh, Mongolia, Japan, Korea and later on against the tremendous active player of uh, Pakistan and later on Algeria, the biggest one. Actually, I'm a little bit sad that the battle versus Algeria came too early. A big, decisive battle between two empires, it came too early. I really wanted it to be like in day 50 or day 60 like that. Two great empires, two major nations, they are going to collide against each other for the winning and for the victory. But I did not want to gamble, I did not want to keep it for the day 50, I wanted to strike early before, uh, before Algeria bec becomes a real threat. But guys, I have a good idea in the future, we might do that and arrange something like that, like a series, it goes, expansion, empire, etc. And later on, in the final stages of the, uh, the series, we just go in a major battle against another nation. Like, we finish it with a huge frontier, with a huge battle that has all kinds of units, all kinds of armies against, of course, a decent and active player. Something like that is going to be interesting for you guys to witness, like, for example, with the Chinese series now, what if we went in a war like against a huge player such as the United States of America that has all of North America and South America? Like it is a decisive battle in the end and who wins it is going to win it in solo. Something like that is very interesting and cheerful, I guess, yeah? 
So I'd like to hear about your feedback about this idea in the comment section. If you want to see such things in the future, such as a huge battle in the end, like the battle royale or like the Royal Rumble, something cute like that, just tell me in the comment section and in the future events, in the future series, I might, um, uh, I might organize something like that. Of course, I go in solo like usual, and later on at the end, we fight against a good player that has also his own empire, and who wins gets the solo win. Something like that is going to be uh, very good, I guess, yeah. So, uh, in order to make that happen like usual, I need your support, boys. Uh, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also you need to um, join our Discord server. Of course, for those who are football fans, I believe that in our community, in our people, in our Discord, we have a lot of people that are passionate about football. For our American uh, followers, it is soccer. And more specific, the English football, the Premier League. If you are interested about it, if you watch football and you know about the game of the Fantasy Premier League, just join our Discord server because we are going to organize a league, a Fantasy Premier League um, we are going to create our own league and who wins the league at the end of the year, at the end of, of course, the, um, the season is going to get uh, a present from me, is going to get something like, like in Discord Nitro, uh, something like that. I don't know, I don't know. I will think about the gift later. But here, finally, this is a congratulations, Meliodas. You've reached first place. Finally, the dream that we started the first day of creating a Chinese empire has become true. Today, we created our empire, another solo win to our statistics, and of course, guys, I gave you a great show. A great show with a big and decent nation, which is China. Now, we, we won. The battle between Algeria was decisive, and of course, we, I didn't even finish all of his lands. You can see there are still red places in the map that I did not finish all of his uh, lands, yet I won the game. Now, I like, really, I'm interested to see what the European possesses such armies. I want to see, I want to see Poland, who attempted some uh, strikes on me. I want to see what he has, like air force or land armies. Okay, let's start here with Ukraine. He has level three strike fighters. He has level four motorized infantry and level four mebar tanks. This is Russia, looks like an active player. Of course, he is inactive. Okay, about uh, Poland here, he has level 3 uh, motorized infantry, level 4 mobile tanks, level 3 recon vehicles. What else? He has naval patrol aircrafts. This is why I said the frigates, they are very, very important to protect your attack submarines. If we did not have the submarines, uh, if we did not have the frigates, he might kill all of our submarines. Look at his air force. He has pretty much everything, strikers, heavy bombers, gunships, attack helicopters, naval strikers, but the bad thing, they are only level 1. This is Italy, level 6 motorized infantry, he has all set of uh, navy, but only level 1. This is bad boys, seriously, believe me, never leave your army into level 1, that's bad. This is United States, level 4 mobile tanks, level 4 mechanized infantry. Well, why did not the United States make navies? Why he does not have any navies? Okay, look at this. Finally, someone with decent navy. This is uh, New Zealand with the level 2 uh, frigates, level 2 destroyers, uh, level 2 cruisers and aircraft carriers and naval strikers. This is good. This is actually very good for New Zealand. You can see on land he did not invest anything on land. He only invested on his navy. That's understandable, that's very good. This is Mexico, level 1 strike fighters. Pretty much everyone is playing with mobile tanks. Look at Bolivia, wow. Max level mobile tanks, max level mechanized infantry for Bolivia. Well, that is decent. That is decent. Max level, they, they have a tremendous HP, look at that. A small stack of uh, 3 mobile tanks, 5 mechanized infantry, more than 350 points. And this is the timetable. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your support. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.